fact that the universe at bottom is, uh, is processing information, computing in a uniquely quantum mechanical way is in some sense uncontroversial. We experience life in three physical dimensions, with the fourth dimension being that of time. However, a growing number of physicists are coming around to the idea that these four dimensions emerge from a two-dimensional level of information. What is information? Information is that which can distinguish one thing from another. What distinguishes that information is consciousness. The late theoretical physicist John Wheeler, who was a professor at Princeton University, who worked with the Manhattan Project, metallurgical laboratory in Chicago, where he helped design nuclear reactors, coined the terms quantum foam, wormhole, and it from bit. The phrase it from bit suggests that our experience of the objects, events, and phenomena that constitute reality is the result of binary decisions. True, false, yes, no, on, off, which we as conscious agents make in the process of observation. First proposed by Gerard Hooft and given a string theory interpretation by Leonard Susskind, the holographic principle is a principle of string theories and a supposed property of quantum gravity that states that the description of a volume of space can be thought of as encoded information on a lower dimensional boundary to the region, preferably a light-like boundary like a gravitational horizon. The theory suggests that the entire universe can be seen as a two-dimensional information sheet on the cosmological horizon. The three dimensions we observe are an effective description only at a macroscopic level at low energies. A UK, Canadian, and Italian study has provided what researchers believe is the first observational evidence that our universe is in fact a vast and complex hologram. Nobody really took this too seriously at first. I took it seriously, but nobody really took it seriously except for a very handful of people. Ed Witten was one of them. Uh, Juan Maldacena was one of them. The reason it really became consensus science was because a very, very particular kind of space-time, anti-de-sitter space, don't worry about what it means exactly. It wasn't the, it wasn't the space that was discovered by the sitter's ant. It's another kind of space. Anti-de-sitter space has the property that it has a kind of boundary. And it's a very special space with an enormous amount of symmetry, very amendable to mathematical uh, analysis. String theory had a lot to say about it. And by the time Juan Maldacena got his hands on it, he was able to prove very, very rigorously that this holographic idea was correct within that context. Once that happened, everybody jumped and said, oh, this holographic idea must be right. Theoretical physicists and astrophysicists investigating irregularities in the cosmic microwave background which is the afterglow of the Big Bang, have found there is substantial evidence supporting a holographic explanation of our universe. In fact, there is as much evidence for a holographic explanation as there is for a traditional theory of cosmic inflation. These findings were published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Professor Costas Skanderis of Mathematical Sciences at the University of Southampton explains Imagine that everything you see, feel, and hear in three dimensions, and your perception of time, in fact emanates from a flat two-dimensional field. The idea is similar to that of ordinary holograms where a three-dimensional image is encoded in a two-dimensional surface, such as in the hologram on a credit card. However, this time, the entire universe is encoded. As localized conscious agents, we each bring reality into focus as a three-dimensional experience of the world. 
We don't experience reality as it really is. If we did, it would be a vast and infinite sea of possible information states. Such a revelation wouldn't make sense to us. We have evolved to understand reality as a cause and effect physical experience within a streamlike perception of time. However, all of what we observe, including matter, energy, time, emotional states, thoughts, even our dreams exist non-locally as information encoded on a two-dimensional horizon. This information includes you. You also are that information and you experience its unfolding and emergence. This is because your very consciousness is written into the very fabric of reality. reality.